Oh yo! Oh 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 yo! Oh 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 yo! Oh 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 yo! This is the middle of the Mara Triangle in Kenya, on the banks of the Mara River. I'm watching the mesmerizing traditional dancing of the Maasai. <laughs> Leading this group of extraordinary people is Dixon Sekaya. Sitting down with Sekaya, I ask him to take me through some of the Maasai traditions. When I'm young, I'm just handling my cows of my dad, goats. Until the time I come be an old boy, I'm coming to be circumcised when I'm 18 years old. That's the, my growing up since I'm young until 18. The time I come to be getting circumcised, usually as Maasai when you get circumcised, that's the time also you are, your dad come and release you that, yes, you are not a boy, you are a warrior. After a warrior, you come to be a, a man who can handle your family. You have to marry. When you marry, that is the day also all your colleagues come and give you some present. You deliver from them. Goats, cows, donkeys, all that. It's not money. Because as we believe cows, goats are the property of us for life. One of the distinct features of a real Maasai warrior is the gap in their bottom teeth. It's a way to recognize a warrior, but it also has a specific meaning in their culture. When I grew up, I think, yeah, first of all, 12 years, morning hours, he put me down, two ladies, okay. They have a knife, they remove me, me these two teeth. That's a mark of Maasai. It is important, whenever you've been suck, uh, suffering by any disease and you can stuck your mouth, they use this gap with a sharp thing like horn of a goat or whatever, or a dig dig to feed you with liquid things like milk, like soup, whatever, like soda, things like that. So it's have a meaning. He shares with me about the striking Maasai clothing, recognized globally as traditionally Kenyan. To me, or to others Maasai, we have two different kind of clothes. One, the way I'm wearing now, is for men, mostly. Ladies, but ladies can wear different colors. I can tell you that. But men mostly, they are red, don't mind. Even this one of mine, I can wear even a month. And we have another, that's a um, second cloth. And the other, that one is the black one. The black one, those are the one, is a mark to those boys who are suck, getting circumcised. They wear that black. So whenever you saw them walk and playing, whatever, you see these are new guys. When thinking of a Maasai warrior, the first thing that comes to mind is the jumping. Witnessing this firsthand will go down as one of the most amazing experiences of my life. So in my life, I started jumping when I'm nine. Just keep on practice. As the eyes practice to draw the spear. I, I, I grow with that jumping and I'm coming on, coming on. Until the time I'm coming to be circumcised, uh, I, maybe I'm higher, very higher to jump. So that the time, it looks like an exercise of your body, but it's an exercise for you to, 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 to win, to get a girlfriend. But there's so much more to the Maasai than jumping. Each and every song and dance have a deeper meaning. And watching them, I don't think I've ever experienced something so real. Also we sing, us here, whenever I talk with my staff here, we don't mind about money, money, because when you put your mind to be thinking about money every minute, you can lost. But get an experience of tomorrow. Yeah, dancing, uh, we, go, we go most uh, sometimes, jumping, after that we go in a zigzag line like this, in a slow motion. Those, that one meaning to, to reminding you many years ago when you were young. How are you struggling with your life when you are a warrior? 
how are you handling your dead cows when you grow a training season, drought season, all those. So that's the meaning of that zigzag line. My time with the Maasai was nothing short of extraordinary. I would even go as far as to say it was spiritual. And I do believe we can all learn a thing or two from the Maasai. As when you grow in our culture, we say that we grow in a respect which can show us direction of life. When you respect each other, young, older people, you can also grow in a good line of your focus of your life in future.